Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new Swift Z 5.5 inch wireless monitor kit from Crystal Video Wireless. I've had my eye on this product since its release and I'm really excited to try it out. But just a disclaimer, I'm not being paid to make this video, but I did get sent this kit for free. But as always, my opinions are my own. You'd be forgiven for thinking that these are just monitors. But what really makes these special is the fact that they have a built-in video transmission system as well. In theory, that means gone are the days of needing a separate device like a Teradec or a Hollyland Mars 400 to send your video feed to your director, and it would seriously streamline your setup. So let's jump straight in and take a look at these monitors. Apart from a small piece of text marking whether it's the transmitter or the receiver that you're looking at, the units are identical. They have two antenna on the top along with a power slash touch on and off toggle and the menu wheel. There's a HDMI in, HDMI out, along with a 12 volt DC in and a headphone jack on the right. On the bottom, there's a tripod thread, USB-C port for firmware upgrades, and also an eight volt DC output for powering either peripherals or even the camera. On the back, there are two battery plates for the Sony MPF batteries. This is nice to see, as I'm sure if you're looking at buying these monitors, then you already have a couple of Sony MPF batteries lying about. The nice thing about this battery plate is it means you can hot swap batteries mid shoot or just have two high capacity batteries eliminating the need to swap batteries every hour or so. Nice touch. There's a small fan on the back for cooling which is very quiet when active. Onto the screen and user operation. Linking these two monitors is very simple. You just swipe in from the right hand side of the screen and select the channel you want to use on both devices. Once the channel is selected, they take about 30 seconds maximum to connect. You can disable the video transmission by pressing the little power option on the side menu and just use them as standalone monitors. I know what your next question is going to be. What's the resolution? While the monitors themselves are 1920 by 1080, but they can accept a 4K signal, which then gets downscaled to 1080. If you swipe up from the bottom of the monitor, you get some quick option toggles. Focus Assist, Histogram, Audio Meters, Parade, Vector, and All Waves. If you double tap anywhere on the screen, you get to the main menu. I'm not gonna be going through every setting here, but I will touch on some notable features. The first being the option to use 3D LUTs. Although there aren't many included, I'm sure more will be coming with time. But the ones you do get are S-Log2, S-Log3, Log-C, and V-Log. I have tested S-Log2 and it seems to work really nicely. You also have the option to add many different screen guides such as center point and grid lines. On the whole, the monitors themselves have a really nice feature set and I have to say I was really impressed by how much they packed into them. Onto the range test. I went down the road from my house to Salisbury Cathedral to do some testing. I started with just walking away from the receiver and I managed to get 200 large paces away with a crystal clear, super low latency image. This was line of sight and I have to say, I was really impressed. I tested the Hollyland Mars 400S last year and it was nowhere near as good as these. When line of sight was lost, however, there was some breakdown in the image, but still for the price, I think purely as wireless video transmitters, they did amazingly. Something I did notice whilst out shooting in daylight though, is just how bright these monitors aren't. 500 nits is the max brightness and even with the included sunshade, shooting outdoors is not a great experience. If you're planning to use these monitors in a controlled environment, they would work brilliantly, but if you're working outdoors, I would suggest looking for something else. Let's take a look at latency. As you can see, I've hooked up a camera to the transmitter and placed the receiver right next to it. The latency is very low. On their website, it says the max speed is 70 milliseconds, and to be honest, it feels better than that, even at range. So would I recommend this crazy concoction of different technologies? As wireless video transmitters only, these are the best that I have ever tested. The screen brightness does let them down a bit, but if you think of this product 
as an amazing wireless video transmission system with the bonus of the two screens, then you definitely wouldn't be disappointed. These are retailing at around £600 and honestly I think that's a really good deal. They're packed full of features and honestly there doesn't really seem to be anything missing apart from being able to send that 4K signal. If you were going to be using these monitors in a studio situation like I'm in now, then they have some real potential. The fact that they've got HDMI in, HDMI out, they can be powered, they've got headphone jacks, just makes them amazing. And I've got some really cool ideas for videos that I might make in the future. If you'd like to see them, put a comment in the comment section below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you can give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And just before you go, I want to tell you about my new Facebook group. It's a place where you can ask me questions, request videos, and essentially become part of my community. So come on over and join us. There's a link in the video description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again really soon.